All right, it's July 6th, 2021, and we're here in Matthews, North Carolina. I'm going to take a walk around this little town and see what they got going on here, so let's get started. We're standing here in front of the Matthews Heritage Museum. If you ever visit, I'd suggest stopping in here first and getting to know a little bit about their history. Matthews used to be called Stump Town because of all the stumps that the town had as they cut down trees for cotton fields. And it was a stagecoach stop between Charlotte and Monroe back in the day. But today it's a beautiful little small town, as you can see. A lot of activity in here. Looks like a great place to live. Got a little free library right here. All these little towns do. Got some art right here in front of Moe's Original Barbecue. Got a pig there. Tables that sit outside. Got landscaping's good. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful little town. I have been here before one time a long time ago, but this is the first time I've been here in years and it has really grown. We're at Matthew Station Street now. Got the pizza pill and tap room over there. Everybody's eating lunch. It's around 12 o'clock. Looks like they built a new town hall down here at the end of this street. So let's go on down there and check that out and then we'll come back up. You can see the town hall off in the distance now. It's built down here off of the main street that we just came from. If you look up that way where those trucks are passing, that's where we turned the corner. It's like they built a bunch of new shops down here along the railroad tracks. And then they built this huge town hall down here, and that seems to be a thing I'm seeing in a lot of these small towns. They are moving into these great big town halls, and they're beautiful and all, but I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about the town hall being the, like the big centerpiece of the town. Got a lot of nice little shops here, wine cellar there, neighborhood bar, salons, rural cafe, got a nail center across the way there, Bean Town Tavern. Going down a little bit further and check this town hall out. Yeah, this section down here feels like a live, work, play type of development they kind of built. But it's cool they got it right down here along the depot. The visitor center museum there. Come on, come on across here. Got a nice little circle here in the garden. And the trees are kind of covering up the building now, but you can see. Big building. It's beautiful. But uh, kind of off in the main part of the town there, but it's nice down here, but it doesn't have that original feel, so we're gonna go back up to the street, check out the original part of town. If you're looking for some ice cream when you're in town, got this local scoop here in this little vendor trailer. Right up from the town hall and stop there and get you some ice cream. It's right across from building, the depot building. Got a bakery there and cleaners. All right, I'll get up with you when we turn this corner. All right, we've turned the corner past the Pizza Peel. We're here at Old Depot Lane. Getting ready to cross the railroad tracks. Yeah, they've done a good job on all their landscaping. Looks good. Stacewell did something similar with theirs. Put a lot of effort into it, and it makes a difference when you come into a town. You can see they went all the way up along the tracks there. Sometimes they just leave the tracks just with gravel or whatnot, and this doesn't look good. And you put those planters out, it looks so much nicer. They got parking there and a map across the way to show you where all the shops are. Getting ready to cross East Charles Street here in Historic Matthews. Getting 
Got a portrait gallery down, gallery down there and a florist. Cross over before this car comes. Yeah, we got a great mural over there on that building. We'll check it out when we come back up. Showing when they were established. Got some old cars. Looks like it's showing up parade and going through the town at one time or another. Got an attorney at law here on the left. Got the hardware store here. Been here a long time. like they decided to close for a family vacation. They'll be opening back up in July 13th. A lot of stores do that around here. They'll close for the whole time. And I, I think that's great. Employees get time off. Family gets time off to celebrate this beautiful country we live in. Yeah, Renfro, hardware, and general merchandise. Make sure you check them out when you're in town. There's a look across the street. There's Moxie Mercantile, Santee Fine Dining, some dance lessons, Carolina Beer Temple. That's interesting name there. We'll check that out when we we'll get back on that side. Yeah, this hardware, hardware store's big. It goes all the way down this whole side here. Looks like they got everything you need in there. Like I said, there's some more of these planters with these hanging plants. Got trees, nice and cool down through here. Yeah, that hardware store takes up that whole block. <laughs> and I'm assuming, <laughs> I don't know for sure, I ain't read nothing on it, but you can imagine that's what Renfro Hardware might have looked like at one time, just a little old wooden building. This town started out a long time ago. I don't know if that's original or not, but that can kind of give you an idea, you know. Here's a look back up the way we just come. This old building looks like it's part of the farmer's market here. When I was coming in, I drove up that back street that's off on the other side there. Got plenty of parking down there. Looks like a great place for a farmer's market. I'm sure that's buzzing with activity whenever they have it. Have it. Open Saturday mornings year round. That's pretty good. A lot of farmers markets close in the winter time. <clears throat> I like this mural here. Local folks, local farms, local food. Eat local, fresh and healthy. That's the truth. There's nothing better than having a town that can sustain itself locally should something happen at a national level. Got an empty building here and they're saying it's not available for rent, so I'm not sure what they're planning on doing with it. But you're not gonna rent that one, according to them. Got Zab's place here, a thrift boutique. Employing young adults with special with special needs, and that's great. Gives them some jobs. Looks like a great place to shop. That's awesome. <laughs> you know how you know how I am about open signs. They got them. We are open. All of America needs to be open now. We can't be playing around no more. Can't let a country go down to tubes because of a virus. We've got to man up, woman up, and do what we've got to do. All right, that's a look on out of the town there. I'm not going to go any further. Do you know I just like to film the town center to see how they're doing? Normally, if a town center is doing good and looking good, the whole area is doing good. And this area is doing good. Right outside of Charlotte, North Carolina, so it's really grown. On the other side now, getting ready to go back up through the town. Just wanted to stop and 
Look at these businesses on the side here. A lot of towns will have businesses off to the sides like that. You got construction company down there and AA collectibles. Somebody's going out of business there. I can't live in leaf or something. Trade Street Jewelers, right here in the marketplace. Got a salon, a lot of salons in these small towns. I haven't seen a barber yet, but I'm sure there's one here somewhere. Well, I got that salon fixed up nice in there too. Got a realty coming in here. United Country, so check them out if you're looking for a place. That's a Stump Down Station. Stump Town Station, maybe a little pub, I'm not sure. That's one thing a lot of step back here. A lot of businesses make the mistake of putting a sign like that. But it doesn't really say what it is. And you know, you gotta make sure people know what it is at a glance. You come up here, you know what this place is. Got the outdoor seating. Got the lights. Welcome signs. That's a great building, maybe. I don't know what this was before, but man. <laughs> man, I can't see the flags waving, but it looks like Grace O'Malley's Irish Public House. Get one there and get you a drink. Get with your buddies, girlfriends, talk about the topics of the day, have a good time. There's a look back across the street so you can get an idea of what that looks like from a distance. There's the hardware store. Pizza Peel way up there. Getting ready to cross Moxie's Mercantile. Little sign talking about the commercial district here. National Register. A lot of these small towns will have buildings like that. Yeah, it's open. Got these high curbs here, so when you're coming, be careful when you walk. I believe these curbs are made high like this at one time so that when the wagons pulled up, it'd be easier get things on and off and that might not be true that's what I heard and it makes sense so if you know if it's true or not comment below let me know you know teach me something teach us all something yeah here's that Santee dining restaurant We've got the dance lessons here Matthew's ballroom events social ballroom Latin coming here Learn how to move them feet around. You have a great time the next time you go out. This is another interesting build. Carolina Beer Temple Craft Beer Bar Retail Shop. That's great places to sit out here. They get that artificial turf so they don't have, don't never have to cut the grass. Always looks good. I don't know what this building was before. Got the same kind of sign, National Historic sign up there. Don't really say what the building is. I imagine at night and on the weekends this place is packed. Not that art there, big bicycle. Got plenty of parking here as far as I can tell. Up the road tracks again now. We're going over. Matthews has the Matthews Alive Festival every year. That's a big festival. Have a heart. Music. Great thing to come to. Check that out if you're in the area. All right, I'll get back with you in a minute. I want to jump back here just for a second to get a look at that mural on the building. It says Matthews, North Carolina, 1879. Showing them having a parade. Kids all along the street. I imagine they have great parades here. I bet they had one during the 4th of July.
here's some more art to have in town. It took me a minute to figure out what it said. I'll just let you look at it a minute and let you figure it out. Right here beside the seaboard tap room. One thing's for sure, you come to Matthews, you're not going to go thirsty. If you like cigars, they got you covered there too. 105 Cigar Company. Make sure to check them out when you're in town. Got Breakman's Coffee and Supply here. Great place to get coffee, I bet. People in there now. About trip there. That's not good. All right, there's a look across at the Heritage Museum. Got another sports bar up there. We'll take one more look back at the pizza pill there, and we're going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Matthews, North Carolina. If you did, like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.